Welcoming you back to Crypto's Juiciest News, baby dolls. Bitcoin is receiving the orange emoji today. Why? It has crashed down to $94,000. Man, I didn't think I would ever see this day. I knew it was coming. It's just, it's a bit surreal, friends, for me to actually like say these words. We are crashing the ninety-four thousand dollars. We're actually below it, friends. No. Oh man, I still remember. Let's take it back. Let's take it back, friends. Just what a journey it's been. Okay, not you. You can't do anything about these prices. You can't come back and buy these prices. Okay, but yes, three, four, five, six thousand dollars, man. I remember all my cousins, all my family. I still remember, friends. We had so many meetings out here, and I just, oh. Uh, all of it for nothing, pretty much. No, no one bought in. <laughs> no one bought in. I said, look, I try and explain asymmetric upside. I said, look, if it doesn't work out, you lose your money. But if it does work out, you can get like 20, 30 times your money. Remember, Bitcoin's like five grand-ish back then. And they just didn't want to do it. No one wanted to do it. Why? It's because they couldn't bear the thought of losing their money. And I'm just like, but but like, it's a lottery ticket stuff. It doesn't matter. They just couldn't bear the thought. People, you find out, friends, people love high certainty. Like we flock to it so much. We love high certainty. When there's uncertainty, we can't deal with it. That, that's why, friends, in bear markets, coins go down 98%. That's why Hex dumps so hard. People just can't deal with uncertainty whatsoever. But if you believe in cycles, if you believe in me tweaking my nipples, Okay, if you believe in all of those, if you believe that Hex is a better Bitcoin, and not just Hex, friends, everything else, you're, just, you're buying the blood, you're buying the depression. I've been talking to you about this for so long, friends, you've got to mock the non-believers. How many times you got to mock the non-believers? The non-believers have been saying, oh, no, no, it's a good thing to sell. We're saying, no, it's a good thing to buy. Now, I mean, everyday friends as well, Jimmy Kramer, Uncle Jimmy Kramer, the inverse Oracle God, man, I really think this is the top. I think that's it done for, for the Bitcoin dominance. Remember, Uncle Jimmy Kramer, Remember telling everybody, don't buy the derivatives, go buy Bitcoin, buy Bitcoin, own Bitcoin, it's a winner. Yes, he did say that at exactly $99,500. By the way, Ethereum, friends, Ethereum, which feels like an estrogen chain, Ethereum, friends, is actually making some ground now. Ethereum is starting to rise up, which is great. It's actually gaining on uh, on Bitcoin right now, so it's around 3,400-ish. Okay, things are tanking a bit, a bit now. But this is the weekly chart now. Check this out, friends, right here. So see, Ethereum gaining. That's interesting, yeah, because the market's tanking and Ethereum is gaining on Bitcoin, right? Just showing you, look at these repricing. So Bitcoin's doing this. Bitcoin is actually sinking and Ethereum is strong, which is wonderful. Of course, this is all normal stuff here. It just... You're looking for these clues that, hey, man, can you start turning around finally? We had some clues before. There were some fake outs, but, you know, we got to let the rest of it play out. Now, Uncle Jimmy Kramer, my friends, topping out Bitcoin dominance. It can only be followed by other magical news. Michael Chad Saylor bought $5.4 billion of Bitcoin, which is the inferior hex, okay? He bought 55000 500 BTC. He literally, I'm just, it's just like a calling from the universe. I've been saying hex is a better Bitcoin. And now Michael Saylor buys a hex coded amount of Bitcoin friends, which is, isn't it wonderful? Just wonderful how this stuff works out. So uh, also the price he bought was literally 97,800. So Michael Saylor friends, he does not, he, he doesn't care. He's like, well, this thing's going to trillions and trillions of dollars. It doesn't matter. Here are the big green dots. This is exactly what he's doing. So he did buy it up here. Um, man, that's wild. That's wild. Also, as people said, he's, he makes his tweet like, oh, we need more green dots or whatever. There's a tweet he makes and he did that before his big purchase announcement, which is actually what happened. It's funny, friends. He's not even up. Look at this. He's only up 60%. My gosh. And that's actually crazy, friends. So he's not even on site a freaking 2X and he's done all that leverage, man. That's just, it's something to think about when it comes to this because, we know it's all going to end bad. Like, you know it is. You just, you know there's going to be a leverage unwind, just like with the big fat arrow here just to show you. Man, all that effort, he started buying at $9,000, you know, and he heard about it at four hundred. So there you go. And that's crazy, dude. Friends, just say, if you ever, if you ever doubt, uh, who's going to buy Hex at a dollar? Who's going to buy Pulse Train and Pulse X 25X higher? Habib, Michael Saylor is literally putting in already 
He put in $5 billion at literally Bitcoin 100,000. All right. He went from, I want to put in $0 back in 2013. Bitcoin's like 400 bucks. Now it's 250x higher. Give me $5 billion worth. I'm not making it up. Friends, no one would ever believe that statement. No one. Okay. Not a single person. I wouldn't even believe that statement. If I was watching myself in the future, I'd go, what? This dude's going to put $5 billion into something he thought was worth zero before he wouldn't put a dollar in, a penny. Ah, once you see the light, you can't go back. Now, moving on, friends. The soy ETH ratio approaches the FTX unlock date, March 2025. So this soy ETH ratio, friends, this is it. Um, I wouldn't, look, I wouldn't be surprised if there is this stalling out period of maybe memes, the Soylana memes, and it gives a chance for Ethereum to catch up. And there's like a resurgence back to like utility, DeFi, they're all memes pretty much everything. Else. Just like, there's like a, just my mind share basically goes to something else. Uh, but you got to remember friends, ev it, it seems like everything's going to have its turn. If we're going to have the Donald pump cycle, everything has its turn. So, but it, it doesn't matter when candles are red, people don't feel good because why they all bought the top of all the memes, right? So when they go down 60%, they're going to feel like a lot of pain. They're going to feel like the meme coin super cycles over and they'll probably be selling the lows, which is exactly what's going to happen as other stuff comes back, you know, XRP and Doge. And then the weak hands will be getting out of them. Like we're already seeing it, for example, in Pulse Chain, because PDI goes and cracks one penny, people were sending all the other altcoins to come and just join the PDI, you know? And also when Hex started moving up, people started selling like PulseX and Pulse just to go chase and ink as well. So just let those rotations happen because don't, don't forget, friends, this type of stuff, this slingshot thing here and there, you, you want that and you love it. I know it doesn't feel good when you're looking at a bag and you're like, oh, I don't like that. People are leaving in this, but don't worry. You're going to like it. You're going to like it, especially when our bags start pumping really, really high. People are going to be selling stuff, not moving, just to go chase it later on. Maybe when we have the PDI $1 peg and any of everything else that happens, okay? Um, so we have Soylana. This is Soil ETH ratio. What's this vertical line? It is the giant $1.5 billion FTX unlock. Okay, just far out, man. All the friends, you're telling me Soylana, Jeetland. Everybody's buying right into this big fat unlock. They're just, oh, well, good luck. That's all I'll say. Good luck. Um, uh, I might get through this later as well. And Soy, friends, is short Ethereum. So, friends, if you're short ETH, he's basically, so friends, he's he's long the Sol ETH ratio. He's put on a short Ethereum. So, remember, this chart, because, look, it's been running on for a long time. It has been running on for a long time. I know people say higher and higher. No, bro, it's, it's been running for a long time, man, up only. Um, You just, you, yeah, I can't even tell the guy to be careful. He's not, see, that's what happens, friends. When you make a lot of money, you don't listen to anyone. He's, I think I think Ansem's worth like 150 million now. He's not listening to anyone. He's not listening to me with a ditto hat. He's not listening to me, even though I have the have the sharpest elbows in the northern, southern, east, eastern, and western hemisphere. Okay, no way. He'd be like, "Look at you, you're in that Richard Hart coin. Huh? You don't know anything, dummy." That's how like everyone talks, friends. That's how everyone talks, um, and that, that's why I do see Bitcoin dominance. It's just, it's going to go down a lot, dude. Uh, friends, I've got all the receipts. Do you want to show all the, uh, how many receipts I've got? Look at all the, look at all these receipts. All coins. I hate to bring it to you. You're a coin. It will be worthless in 10 years. This guy blocked me, by the way. Rex. Shout out to Rex. I'm going to have to, we're going to have to think of a nickname, bro. Rex. More like just, I don't know. We just, he couldn't take it anymore, bro. He couldn't. He just couldn't. He couldn't take Habib. Rex. You know, uh, all the friendship cult. You know, they're going to tag you as it goes down. And I'm just I'm 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 going to just soften it for you, okay? They are going to tag you with the hex BTC ratio flying to the moon, reminding you hex is a better Bitcoin, reminding you that you faded this opportunity. Even though I come in with this defense, my avatar, I literally have a buy Bitcoin sign on it. I literally have that. So that's just just showing you, man. Richard Hart was right. Like the, the you'd be astonished the amount of opportunity that comes to people's way, and no matter what you say, they just won't get in. Until, until, what is it, friends? Until your big, fat, juicy, thick green candle has a say in it. Then they'll start to believe. In other news, Pumpkin, the Tron founder, Justin Sun, he invested $30 million into Donald Trump's DeFi, so the useless governance token. So it's probably more of a political, strategic, friendship type of investment thing which is great, having like a seat at the table. 
Um, where'd you get $30 million from? Yeah, because, friends, he owns more Ethereum than Vitalik. Just think about that. So Justin and Richard Hart, quite similar, friends, in terms of their ability to read markets and they make big macro decisions that are pretty good. Not pretty good, like really good, like elite level, elite level swinging. Um, so, yeah, Justin's probably like uh, figured out a way here that's strategic for him to have this partnership thing. They're pretty cool. Let's see what happens uh, from that. Pump fund friends have removed live streaming. So, man, there's some disgusting things. I don't know if I can get through the post here, but uh, just to let you know, pump fund friends, so they enabled live streaming. So the scum of the earth, and what I mean scum of the earth, friends, I'm, I'm going to tell you this because you have to listen to this. I told you the chain is infested with soy, scum, subhuman filth, trash. I don't want anything to do with it, all right? Um, you can play around with your memes and stuff, but do you, you know what's happening, friends? There were parents hitting their three-year-old child and demanding to get paid for them to stop, all right? Man, life is cruel. Why were these subhuman filth scum allowed to breed? Why were they allowed to breed? The dude should be castrated. The girl's ovaries should be literally lasered out of existence, okay? Just laser beam, okay? I think it's a crime against humanity. should not be able to, to procreate these people. So they're not, even, they're not even people, dude. They're, they're literally scum. They're scum. They're not even cockroaches. Cockroaches survive through nuclear holocaust. They're literally just bottom of the shoe scum. Bottom of brown leather shoe scum on a Saturday morning, all right? So, and it gets worse, by the way. Someone was here abusing their animal, their dog, Okay, they, they were um they put a point uh point one dude yeah he pointed a laser to his dog he goes uh if this doesn't hit 100k mark cap by this thing I'm blowing my he dog's head off so these these threats out here one kid by the way threatened to kill his family his little his, oh, what do you see this little kid he, he, this kid man, it's not like oh just a little kid like he, he looked like a head like you you want to knock him out I don't care if you're 12 years old when you see his head friends if you just I don't know if I should show you his head he just this little and then by the way he goes on stream to brag about it. He says, like, bro, bro, he's a 12 year old kid, 12 year old kid, bro, bro, I'm just here to make money, bro. But like, oh, man. Oh, well, that's what you get on Soy Chain. That's why, friends, like, it's, um, how much longer can this go, dude? You're, you're cursed to oblivion. Don't forget, friends, the big triangle. That's always on the cards, okay? That's always on the cards where you, you fake out the triangle. Everyone's like, that's it. We're never, ever, ever gonna go down, ever. We've broken the triangle and we fake out. That, friends, I'd let you know that's bull market stuff, okay? At the tops of bull markets in crypto, we make big triangles like that, and then they actually bust it to the upside. They just fail on the downside. Um, and if you, if you, friends, if you've been paying attention to me, who is your friend, I'm going to show you a triangle from 2021. Do you recognize this triangle, friends? Look at this. This was Bitcoin. You see, this is what happened, friends. So Bitcoin, Bitcoin did the triangle. You see, it was doing this triangle thing. Okay, wee, okay, and it literally broke up, and then bang. Okay, and then see ya. You see, that's what happens in the bull markets. Okay. Also, that the people draw, I remember MM Crypto was drawing all these triangles, they all failed at the top. All right. So just to give you an idea, this is what happens in crypto. The, the, the first couple of triangles work. We go up flag, up flag, and then the final one, it's just yeah, but you don't know where it's the final one. It's guessing. That's why you just gotta believe. Also, good news, friends. Donald Trump's portfolio for crypto, it's now at $5.4 million, which is great, man. Look, that's awesome. He's got $5.4 million in, uh, in, in altcoins and DeFi and everything else out here. So that, that's his public one. And that's what you want to see, friends. That's what you want to see because now he's going to defend all the lollipops. Now he's financially incentivized to look after it. It's good. Elon Musk did this tweet. Doge is inevitable. Remember, it's his Dogecoin thing. Um, yeah, it's probably like ushering in friends. That's awesome. The Doge meme, like, man, you just have to believe. How are you to explain to someone four years ago, hey, Elon Musk is going to buy it, plus he's going to become uh, close with the president and Trump's going to win. By the way, Trump's going to have a near miss planned assassination twice and the Holy Spirit's going to have to literally move his head so he doesn't get shot in the head. And Elon Musk is going to rename the thing to Department of Government Efficiency Doge as well. Like, you would be like, okay, that, that's negative 5% chance I'll oh, do that happening. Well, here we are. And that's why Doge is cracker. Friends, remember when I spoke to you about Michael Saylor and his 55,500 BTC? Well, remember, Hex, the longest term staking is 5555 five, five, five days, which is what, 15.25 years, I think. That's Hex coded, right? Also, also PDI, friends, PDI from the absolute bottom is 555, 555X return to $1. 
Okay, that, that's why we've gone through this. It's not, it, it can't be a coincidence, dude. If it's a coincidence, friends, I'll literally eat my fluffy slippers on, on, on stream. And i got to remind you as well, for everyone who's traded with me and stuff over the years, like, I just, i got to remind you, everyone, if you traded with me, welcome, welcome. Maybe you don't know I'm in crypto. Maybe you've just come across me, seen my hair. YouTube's like sharing my stuff around to everybody. And just to let everyone know, okay, everyone, he traded stocks, traded bonds, Australia, America, all the bonds, okay, everyone listening? This asset, PDI, broke the system. All right? You know what that means. Friends, that's what I'm telling you. If, all of us traders, we know. Okay? When the systems break, something big is about to happen. All right? It's like, oh, a system breaks. You know? That's wild. So this is PDI from the bottom, friends. The very, 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 very bottom price was zero point was five zeros and one eight. Okay, exactly five zeros and one eight, and then all the way to a dollar. It is literally, friends. It is five 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 five, five x. You can even do it. And look, friend. By the way, like just friends, it's Richard, dude. Look at this. Look what he does. Let's send it down to exactly this price, and then that's actually that's it. I'm done. Now I can start buying it. Do, 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 do. Just say, oh, well, I don't know, friends. I don't know. Just it's totally such a coincidence out here, right? But hey, it's it's a nice conspiracy because uh, hey, we're we're above the one cent FOMO price, friends. Um, a year ago, man, a year ago, I said, friends, just imagine this gets to one penny. You don't even need a dollar. I'm like, wow, at one cent, friends, you've made a whopping twenty four times your money. Whoa! Now that we're here, everyone's like, okay, what's next? You got to believe. By the way, the same thing is going to happen to Pulse Chain Core Coins. You know, when um, when Pulse X hits day one sack, do you remember everybody was saying last year, man, if Pulse X can just get to day one sack again, I'm all out. Okay, we're going to get there. What if it hits 3x day one sack? Then everyone's going to say, wow, I wonder what 10x feels like. I wonder what 20x feels like. It'll happen. Also, friends, got to play some Pumpy G pump music for you just to remind you. We're gonna make it. Don't worry, we're gonna make it. We're literally on our way to making it right now. This is the People's Bitcoin Friends, PWBTC. And if it's gonna match BlackRock Bitcoin, Rocco Negra's Bitcoin, that's $100,000. So you know when Richard first tweeted about it, it was um, $100. Now, hit 1,000. Next stop, 10,000. Right, I have the line here. Next stop, 10K, and then 100K. And oh man, that's gonna be great. You can see the confusion as well. Hans, why would Richard Hart want to pump the people's Bitcoin instead of his own tickers? How do you know that that's not one of his tickers? How do you know he doesn't own a lot of it? How do you know? Also, it's uh, highly advantageous for him to try, try, he'll try and succeed to do this before Bitcoin maybe goes into late stage euphoria because it gets harder and harder to push up the price that far. Um, you never know, friends, with Michael Saylor FOMO, Michael Saylor is using an infinite money glitch. So I saw somebody on Twitter post, shout out to the gentle sir. I forgot, maybe that Mr. Tyler Durden guy. I replied, um, I think it was Uncle Bobby Lucas. People said like, M how can Saylor keep doing this? I don't see a downside to what he's doing. Someone said that as an expression. And I said, uh, he's, he's doing a loop. There's no downside because there's a loop because he's taking debt money. Yeah, he's, friends, he's, he's doing a speculative attack on the US dollar. You know that? So what I, look, either the US government stops it now, which it won't, or it goes far enough that it puts the US treasuries at risk. Okay? Because now the US treasuries have like a lot of money put into this. Okay? So, you know, I don't know what a big move is going to be, but th that's what, just to remind you, what's the infinite money glitch? Remember, all this money, they're not allowed to buy anything except safe debt. They have to buy debt. They can't buy equity and a stake. They can't do turbo Ponzi crypto stuff, all right? They can't do stocks. They can't do anything. They can only buy debt. So Michael Saylor made a debt vehicle. He's like, oh, you can buy this debt, all right, and it converts into a share later on, all right? And, right, so you buy this debt, it converts to a share later on, and... With your debt, I will literally just go buy Bitcoin. I will just go buy Bitcoin, sir. That's it. You have like a five-year convertible thing. It converts to stock later on, and it converts to my micro strategy stock. 
You see that? So that's 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 what pretty much has been happening. And everyone everyone's filling it up. Oh, that's how we got the five billion, right? That's how we got the ten billion before that. So this was my news from before as well, friends. Remember Pump Fun uh, removing their live stream? It was like absolutely insane. Mr. Aaron, is it really a problem to have live streaming to Pump Fun, or are the people who stream there the problem? Yeah, man. It's just I've just man. This is like one of the unintended consequences of this crypto. Now everybody in the world can shill a ticker. Now, so what people are doing is, remember I told you, it's like you just have like this, you know, in the Matrix, we see like everyone like looks like a little battery in an egg. Yeah. Now you just have everybody, they have their their, their like little box, which is their computer or their phone. And they're like, hey, I'm trying to get your attention. I'm, I'm here. I'm like doing magic tricks. I'm going to like uh, 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 abuse one of my children, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to do all these. I'm, let's, let's check this out, friends. This is it. This is the type of stuff we're seeing. Like, look at this guy. But he kind of looks like Meet Kevin. This is hilarious. So uh, let, let's watch this. Hopefully there's no like any bad stuff. This is nothing new. <laughs> this is nothing new. Are you new? Are you new to the... I don't know if the thing's going to go. It's just... It's like mega... Yeah, so just look at this. look what's going on. So this guy's wrapped up. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of sick, sick like these these people got guns. Just showing. Yeah, I think one dude was on the toilet, threatening to like saw it. Look at that, and they just rug. Look at that. Look at that. They just rug. The dev rug. See us. That's it. They just rug everything. See. What's this girl doing? Probably, yeah. Yeah, so it gets way worse, but like, yeah, it's disgusting. Look, friends, you can make money on Solana. Of course you can. I'm just saying like, oh, you want to know why it's so hard? Duh, because you're sitting around on junk like that. Yeah, friends, like, okay, you can, you can go to a strip club out there and find the wife. You can, all right? You know, you got to go through, I don't know. 700 and maybe one of them shall like she just started a month ago she shouldn't be there you know maybe she was just going through a bit of an episode or whatever you know what i mean like you, you're 700 but you had to go through like 700 you found one and you, how can you really trust it by the way you can't really trust it you know because you know after like on soylana like how can you reach it's the whole chain's a jeep chain oh man when i think of uh demo from ticker bitcoin when i think of morad when I think of all the soy, the the meme guys, I'm I'm like boys. How did I'm sorry, not sorry. Okay, uh, how did you end up on Soylana? How? Uh, everything about your character and makeup has nothing to do with Soylana. You know that nothing. Your principles, buying and believing, your holding, nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Soylana. Okay, it has everything to do with Pulse Chain. But I know you're not going to believe until the prices go up heaps and you get in. I don't want to use the word maybe embarrassed, but I'm just, you know what? Let Richard Hart's man boobs be posted into your face at the right time, okay? You know, friends, trust me, I, I can feel it. They were so close. They're following me. They watch me, but they just couldn't. They're like, oh, but he's... But he's, but it's a fat dude twerking. All right, bro. Okay, get over it. The coins pump. He's a freaking genius. You understand? Did you see what Hex did, by the way? You want to talk about community? Aren't, aren't you, by the way, uh, look, aren't you at least a bit curious why this thing did 10,000 X from the bottom? And aren't you at least a bit curious why it's down 99.4% and there's people still believing? Aren't you at least a bit curious? Not curious? No, okay. I guess I guess I'll make you curious later on. We'll see. You'll see. This is Richard's tweet, by the way. Imagine fooling around with Bitcoin when wrapped Bitcoin on Pulse Chain is up 20% just today. It was a hundred dollars. See that? Remember, friends, now it's a thousand bucks. The P die prophecy. Hilarious stuff as well, friends. I did not know, you know the gay dating app, Grindr, that everyone jokes about? Well, they have a stock, I had no idea, and it's actually outperforming Ethereum this year. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. Why does Grindr have a stock? I just, yeah. Like I said, friends, like, okay, now we got the sex apps and the dating apps. They're getting stocks. Like, dude, why do you have stocks? It's totally useless. You should have a crypto if you actually want to do something and get everybody in. Oh, that'd be gold, man. Uh, I can already see people trolling on Twitter. They send grinder tokens to um <laughs> to people that are like that'd be good. 
This is the post from Ansoy, friends. Remember, Ansoy is called Ansoy because he's blocked me. He goes, shorted Ethereum. Kobe, seek help. Martin from Ofki Hex, okay? The storyteller, Martini. I call him Baby Doll Martini. Liquidate Ansem. Yeah. Yeah, but look where he's short from, by the way. Um, the price, though, friends, is, yeah, it's the round, the round here. Now, 3440. So, he's short, but also just showing you, like, look, look. Um, he's fading Ethereum strength. Bro, yeah, just look. Friends, look. Uh, I'll show it to you now. Okay, look, I'll just show it to you now. You need ratios, man. You need them. You need to understand what the hell's going on, okay? Because now Ansoy is like, ha, 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 I'm Ansoy. I can short anything in the world because Ethereum's trash. You are shorting the bottom of this range, Habub. Do you know that? Do you know, you um, friends, do you know how scared I would be, bro, since May 2021? What has it been, three and a half years? You are shorting something that has been going down for three and a half years, by the way. Okay, it is, friends, this is the longest downtrend in Ethereum history. Ethereum's longest downtrend against Bitcoin in Ethereum history means you should have your longest, biggest Ethereum long in history. Theoretically, yes, because it's gone the cheapest for such a long, long, long time. But instead, that's right, friends, I have it right here, Bolo. You're, you're going to eat your words. Everyone's going to eat their words, okay? Yeah, I know Vitalik eats bugs. It's a true story, but he did eat some bugs. He tried the crickets thing. Um, yes, yeah, so there's a lot of bug eaters on Ethereum. Yeah, they're sore. Yeah, they got flaily arms. Yeah, they're, they're virgin pencil necks. Okay, a lot of them are. I get it, friends. Okay, yeah. CBDC light, blah, 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 blah. I get it. I get it. get it. I don't care, okay? There's a, there's a, there's a product market fit out there for people who eat bugs. <laughs> okay, and it's Vitalik, man. He's a freak. Friends, you know one of the, it's funny. One of the in one of the UFO um if you go down the UFO rabbit holes, there's a lot of like different UFO species. One of them are just they're giant the manta bugs. Okay, they're the manta bugs. But um when people have kind of met them, right? Um they can't see their true form because they said they said it look really scary, but they kind of put them under hypnosis. They literally look like a giant manta bait. Uh, manta ray bug. So, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. This is a bug chain. Are all the UFOs going to come land on the White House and start degening on Ethereum's version of Pump Fund? I don't know. But plus 40% move is coming. Plus 40%, huh? I mean, like, you know how close we are to that now? Now it's only all 32% away. So, yes. Remember, friends, I don't make, I don't, I do these calls once every two years. Flash pumps coming for Ethereum. Plus 40% move. Okay, let's actually get the Ethereum price chart now. Uh, wow, almost back to Richard Hart's Pulse Chain Sacrifice Fund. That'll be nice. Uh, we, this is weekly, friends. There's going to be something like this. Whee! Bang. Something out here, 4,800. Something like this. You see that? Here's Flash Pump. Bang. 7 to 14. Look what look Ethereum did, by the way, in 14 days here. In 14 days, Ethereum here did to the top 97% move. All right? And if you go back to 2017... All right, look what Ethereum did here. In 2017, friends, there was this period as well. Uh, Ethereum in these two candles did a 60% move. In these two candles did a 160% move. Okay, just showing you like flash 40% move is coming. And by the way, Bitcoin did a 40% move in 14 days. Did you know that? Look at this. So Bitcoin, friends, from the bottom here to the top, it did a flash 39% move here. What about these two candles? Look what Bitcoin actually has done up here. That's a 35% move. Actually pretty nice, right? What about actually here? That's crazy as well. Let's check this out here. Bitcoin's done 30%. Okay, so Bitcoin's done a 40%, a 40%, and a 30% in this 30-day 30, 30 period. Surely Ethereum being like down for so long, man, I wouldn't be surprised if it whacks up like a 55% or something, but we'll see. Here are my posts now just to remind you of, look at this, friends, Bitcoin going down. And then Ethereum going up, green for Ethereum. We got Hex as well going up. Bitcoin dominance going down. ETH BTC going up. So I know these are like small, small, small things. But man, you you built you you have the bid now, the bid power. Because first you got Jim Cramer, and secondly we have Mr. Dirky Turkey. We are going to mog the non-believers. Thank you very much, sir. You are an asset to the community. Keep doing what you're doing. Also shout out to my friend Hex again. Heal forty percent pumping coming. Somebody was right. Ah! I love that. So that's kind of funny. I scroll it down. We're talking about 40%, 40%, 40%. And I scroll down. And I just see Hexagon Hills come. That's gold. Makes me smile. Okay, friends. Got some Andrew Tate news as well. Remember, Andrew Tate is on Pulse Chain. He is farming in the Pulse ETH uh, pair. He has ink. He has Hex. He has everything. Okay. But he's primarily farming in the Pulse ETH pair. 
there's been some threads made out saying they're alleging that he made over three million dollars during his last live stream they said it gets dark he bought 30 percent of the supply all these other things by the way he was so against crypto when we were in the bear market now he's asking for tickers from random people um <sighs> look yes let me tell you something friends. let me get the ciggy out you know you and me yeah we care we care um but you and me, we are like two out of 100 people. 98 don't care. And those 98 are emotionally charged to act on their speculation urges because they see opportunity. They will buy Andrew Tate tickers. They will try front run him. They'll try back run him. They'll buy after him. They'll try buy before him. They'll guess which tokens he has. They'll try to find out other wallets. They're trying to see different encoding stuff. Okay, anything he talks about, they're going to buy. Okay, sirs, sirs and madam. So they don't care, all right? And you got to understand this in a bull market, we're no longer in bear market PTSD. Yeah, and technically, by the way, if he shields something and it goes up for like 14 days, literally. Um, okay, everybody, you had a chance to get in. You didn't get out and it came back. Okay, whose fault is that? Whose fault is that? So do you want to like stop people from like talking about tickers? You can't. You can't control that, friends. We live, it's a new world now, all right? With crypto, the power of crypto, you can literally mog the stock market, guys. Stock market guys can't see an opportunity appear in the real world and act on it. They can't. You see, but in crypto, we can. If you find some kid, you think, oh, I think this kid's going to be big one day. And let's say he liked the meme coin. You know what I mean? You're like, hey, do you have any crypto? He's like, oh, yeah, I like this meme coin. Go, sweet. I'm going to get in because you're in it. Maybe you talk about it one day. You know, you can't have this opportunity in stocks because you can't, there's no, there's no decentralization when it comes to this aspect in terms of buying and all the capabilities of DEXs and stuff. This is kind of funny news as well uh, today, friends. So the Ethereum developers transferred $20 million to go dump Ethereum, which is what they have. Stop, stop, he's already dead. So friends, by the way, this was made at the top of that Sol ETH ratio, okay? So Bold Leonidas, isn't it interesting? That's the comic he's made at the top of Soy ETH ratio. Now, we don't know if it's the top, okay? We don't know if it's the top because like, if you're, if you're curious, friends, Ivan, so you got this, sol you got this trend, okay? So... You can't say it's over until it flips red, all right? But if this flips red, it's really over now because look what happened last time it flips red, okay? Bear market for it. But also, you have a shortened version here, which everyone's going to have cope on, but still, okay? After a move like this, I don't want to bet on a short one like that happening, okay? So also, you might say, oh, I'm a genius. I'm just going to wait for that ratio to get out. Here's the thing, man. From the top, friends, you are down, here you go, you're down 30% here, and then you maybe, yeah, you maybe get a chance, you got to get out 30%. Now, in something more volatile, such as pulse chain, this is the pulse chain Solana ratio. So I've written here, Ivan, our friend, baby doll, Ivan on tech, he sold down here. Just to show you, man, look what pulse chain did in one week last time, friends. It did a 100% move. So... Let's say they could do this again. Oh yeah, here you go. here's your hundred percent move. All right, and then you think, oh, that's not that bad. Okay, sweet. You firstly, you have to firm and buy it. No one firm and buys. They wait for a better price. Okay, but let's say you did firm and buy. You just bought up here at the end of the week. Look how much you're down. You are down fifty five percent of your stack. Mm -hmm. So if you if he sold, let's say Ivan sold a billion pulse to get into soy. If we go up here and Ivan uses his soy to go back in. He can't get a billion pulse anymore. He can only get 450 million pulse. He's lost 55% of his stack, you know. But, but that's why, friends, people have different styles of trading. Uh, in this trader mentality, they don't care. They're trading US dollars. They're just going with trends. They're trading US dollars. But uh, if you're a believer in something, like, for example, Bitcoin, you, you want to take this approach at Simon Dixon, who's blocked me as well. That's why I, just, I, don't have, I don't have to put any other nickname. Just call him Simon Dixon. That's his real name. So Mr. Dixon. <laughs> so Mr. Dixon said, like, just focus on every month owning more Bitcoin than he did last month. Don't worry about the price. Just try to own more of a quantity. So that's it, friend. So when you're, when you're a quantity mindset of, of, uh, of the net, because you quantity, right? It's like saying, don't worry about the price of your house. Just try to own more land in your city every year than last year. That's it. Try to accumulate more land. Yeah, that's the same principle out here. So look, it, it will be nice, man. Imagine we do get this like big, big, big fat green candle. 
a big spike up. Like, that's what's happens. You got to understand what you're doing here in these. But look, I don't look what that's what happens, man. It just goes down forever. And everyone says, oh, well, it's never going to go up. <sighs> Habib. Habibi Albi. Okay, I'll play some Habibi Albi music for you. Pulse Chain is 1 billion market cap. 1. Soilana is 120. Do you know if Soilana does a 3x, it flips Ethereum? Do you know if Pulse Chain does a 3x, nobody notices it still? What do you think is easier for it to happen? Do you think it's easier for the world of Ethereum to get flipped by Soilana? Do you think it's easy for that to happen? Or do you think Pulse Chain can do a quick 3x? So just think about it. Some fun times here with our friend Gabby, Gabriel Haynes, one of the bear market favorites. Gabby Haynes in crypto as well. So he got into this cage, obviously mocking, having fun of the pump fund stuff because we're all getting like cucked by Ethereum. That's funny. This is what happens when Ethereum's price goes down. So I love, I love Gabby, man. Makes me laugh so much, friends. Ah, uh, man, that's so many committed videos. Remember, we all paid for Gabby basically to go to the Bahamas. Just check out Soy Bank with Freedom. It's kind of funny. It's one of the bear market narratives out here. It's kind of amazing. Last thing, friends. I understand FOMO. I understand it, and I'm here to share it with you so that you can understand FOMO, all right? Understanding FOMO. FOMO, it's not like a price. It's a, it's a, it's a journey, okay? And it builds, all right? FOMO, it's not a short sprint. It's a marathon to get to the FOMO, all right? So look at my friend Daddy Wick. Look what his friend said. Hey, bro, what's up? Enjoying the bull run? I have been hearing so much about P-Dye lately. So, Mr. Friends, Dad, my, my friend, right? Mr. Daddy Wick. So, think about his friends. What's going on? I've been hearing about this P-Dye thing. Why? What happened, friends? What happened? We hit one cent. The arrow points to one cent. Remember, I've been talking about a cent for a long time. It's 24x away when I first covered it. Okay? So, I was bearish below it, but when I covered it, okay, it's 24x away. So, one cent. Now that it's here, I think it's, friends, you're even noticing there's a lot of change in the terminology out here. There's, there's friends, there's, there's KOLs calling people out, P-Dye. There's, uh, there's a lot of attacking and antagonistic behavior out here. They can deal with that mess. Um, I'm not going to deal with that. I don't care. About that. Just that if you're going to fight and do all this stuff, that's defeating the whole purpose. Uh, I present everything in a way because I'm trying to help you. You see that? I'm trying to help. Friends, if I had an ego, if I have an ego from the first time, I get, oh, well, p is a scam. p is a scam. If I had an ego from that point, then um, we would have missed out on this big opportunity. I'm just going to show you the chart again now. Here. Well, I fought the, the Sami FUD event here, friends. You see it? Let's put it on the daily chart. There you go. Came here, but look, it came back, man. Friends, it literally, from here, it came back. It literally came back. Whee! All right. So it's still not done yet because you got to understand. Look what it's doing. It's, it's, it's doing the Richard Hart thing. It's doing the Richard Hart thing. Look at that. Up and down and up and down. Like, oh, well. Also, just friendly reminder as well, as you're looking through all these, that that, that FOMO inflection point of one cent, it's now been breached. Like, it's just it's un unquestionable now. Now, if you're going to ask questions, it's not whether Richard's involved or whether he, friends, he, as you can see on chain, he has 12 billion of the PDI, okay, 55% of the supply minimum. The question now is, will this happen, the peg, based on an Ethereum price? Like, can it only happen at a $15,000 ETH price or 4000 or 5000 How much? Because, friends, I think that's a level of fractional reserve that Richard's going to decide. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out later. Like, subscribe, bell button, all. Catch you soon.